What's going on traders? It's Nate here at the Forex University. And in this video, we're going to talk about passing the funding talent challenge. All right, guys. So I do have a whole strategy breakdown in this video. So stay till the end. I'm also going to share with you a special tool that helps me out with risk management. It's been a game changer for me. I would highly recommend it to you if you do use MT4. So if you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe, smash the like button and let's get started. Okay, so before we get into the strategy, I want to show you that special tool that I was talking about. So right now I have MT4 on my demo account and then also you're going to see this thing right here that I'm moving around on my screen. This is an amazing tool guys and I would highly recommend it if you do use MT4. So based off of the percentage that you're risking, right, let's say you do a buy or sell, <clears throat> um, I will do a buy for now and it's actually risking 2%, around 2% uh, on my account right now. I have an $89,000 account uh, on this demo account. And right here you can see that no matter what, if I drag it down to a 136 pip stop loss, I'm always going to be risking 2%, right? If I move it up to a, let's say an eight pip stop loss, right? Um, I will be risking 1781, right? And then it's gonna show me my reward as well. So based off of my stop loss, you know, it's gonna calculate my risk to reward. So this is 22 to one. And it's also gonna show me how much money I can potentially make if it does go in my direction, okay? So that's a buy. Let me show you the sell, okay? It's the same thing except for the opposite. So let's go back down to 1% or maybe you wanna do 0.5%, right? So let's do a sell order. And I'm going to put my stop loss right above that wick right here. And then I'm going to take price down to, let's say, this price action area, right? So, you know, this is a 24 pip stop loss, okay? Because we're on the daily time frame. So it's it looks a little, but it's really not. And I'm risking $445. And my reward is $2280, right? If I move this up here, my stop loss is wider, right? So this, now it's 125 pip stop loss. I'm still only risking $439, okay? So this is beautiful. It takes literally all that math out, right? You don't have to go to babypips.com or, you know, my FX book and find some type of calculator and figure out what pair you're trading and putting in the the, uh, the stop loss and then converting it and then it pops out some, you know, lot size. All you have to do is really focus on your charts, focus on price action, where you're taking price next, and then boom, you enter your trade based off of the, your risk parameters right here on this. I'm going to show you one more thing, um, and it's called pending order. So pending order right here uh, is pretty much a buy, a buy stop or a, a limit order, right? So let's say, for instance, um, you want to buy, right? Then you have your stop loss below. So once price comes down here, your stop loss is going to be right here and then your take profit is right here so you know if you if you're the type of trader uh, that is very price ac action oriented and uh, you want price to get in on a buy right here uh, it won't enter until price comes down here it's automatically going to trigger a buy and then your stop loss obviously will only be risking 0.5 percent right if i if i move this to one percent okay and I click on the MT4, boom, it automatically recalculates my risk based off of my PIP loss uh, ratio. And then um, this is my profit. So this is a four to one risk reward, um, 173 PIP to the upside. So I'll be making 3617.79. This is literally the best for me because I hated doing, um, you know, risk calculating uh, calculators and all that and figure out what lot size now all i need to do is focus on uh, the charts so let's get into the strategy um <clears throat> if you guys are new to my channel go ahead and subscribe hopefully uh, that helps uh, i'm going to provide uh, my affiliate link if you do want to install that software onto your mt4 it doesn't work on your phone uh, but you know i would recommend trading on your desktop if you're a serious trader anyways so let's get into the strategy that way you guys can actually understand what i do um, it's not proprietary it's nothing super secret i don't have any formula or some special indicator um, it's definitely price action oriented 
and uh, that's all I do. Uh, the reason why I'm uh, profitable is because I'm using great risk management and I use price action to determine uh, my entries, okay? So uh, the, the first thing that I do is I take out my line chart. Um, I have GU right here and um, I just mark up my horizontals. So I take out the line chart and you can see that price is currently right here. Um, so I look for these little V's. So these V's right here, um, you're gonna see one, two, and three, right? That's a good area of support. So I'm gonna drag it up a little bit and then mark that as a support. What I do is I actually like to make notations. So let me just do daily support, okay? And then right here, let's do a resistance area, okay? So I always look for at least three. So I got one right here. We got on support. We got price bouncing back down. So this is a good area, right? So since we're on the daily time frame, um, we don't actually have to do supports up here because that's really far away. Uh, I mean resistance, right? Um, so I'm going to go down to the four hour and then actually pull out my candlesticks. And then we're going to continue to do the same thing. So right here, I'm going to be looking for the same thing. I'm going to look for price action. I see another one right here. So let's do four hour horizontal, right? So it's look like, it looks like price, uh, uh, it holds until it actually breaks, right? So, you know, price kind of bounces off of that area a couple of times. So it's a good area to get in for entries. Okay. And then now I look at the one hour to you know, look for uh, potential opportunities for long or shorts. And so how I do that is based off of two things, really. It's really simple, guys. Uh, support and resistance are zones. And then uh, break and retest, right? So uh, I go along with the trend, okay? And I look for big breaks out of those horizontal lines that I drew up, right? Um, so if you guys are familiar with break and retest, uh, this is more of a recap if you're new to trading or maybe you want a simple strategy uh, That isn't super complicated then continue watching this video um, So zones are pretty much supply demand areas where price is, you know fluctuating in a small range Okay, so I usually use this rectangle to um, You know find those zones and then uh, same thing for resistance areas, right? So let's let's go back out to the four hour and look for another zone. So right here, you can kind of see price wiggling around a lot. So I'm gonna make that another zone. Let's go back to the one hour. So break and retest is really simple. Break and retest is when structure does this. So price comes down, comes up, and then breaks, and then comes up and breaks, right? So, oh, sorry guys. So right here, this is what I'm looking for. Okay, so, and let's just say that this is a support area, okay? So what I'm looking at is this area right here. So price came up, came down and broke structure, it broke that support level, and then retested and bounced right here. Once it came up right here, I wanna start looking for exhaustion wicks, okay? So <clears throat> this would be the opportunity to get in for a what, guys? What do you think? A sell, right? Because this is the most opportun opportunistic area where price action is having a hard time breaking. You, you're in a downtrend, and now you have the ability to get in for a trade. So I'm going to try to identify <clears throat> a break and retest on this right now. Um, you're going to see that... You know, it is Sunday, September 19th, so price isn't, you know, the market isn't really moving too quick right now. Uh, they barely just opened, but um, let's just do a rewind and see if uh, I can spot one. So I'm just going to put my, okay, so we'll do this and we're going to hit play in real time. Okay, so let's make it a little bit quicker. Let me speed this up. Okay. So obviously price is down here. Uh, price is coming up. Here's one daily support. What do I want price to do? I want it to bounce 
or consolidate on that daily support. So it broke a little bit, but it's not a huge break. So let's continue watching this. Okay, so now we see that it consolidated. Uh, price wicked out right here. So let's expand this a little bit <clears throat> and then go to a smaller time frame. Okay, so let's go to the 15 minute. So on the 15 minute, it's a significant break and retest. Price came up again right here and then held uh, onto that structure, right? So what I wanna do is look for an opportunity to get in for a buy. So right here would have been my buy, okay? And then I would have took price, right? I would have gotten for a buy on MT4 and then put my stop loss right below. Um, so I usually look for like three to ones. Uh, typically two to one is good. So this is a four to one. So I can afford to do a bigger stop loss. Um, I'm going to put price like right around here. So three and a half, 3.75 to one. Let's continue playing this and hopefully I make my first trade off of the break and retest strategy. So we're going up, we're going up, we're going up, we're going up, we're going up. And didn't quite hit. Look, it looks like it's retracing and uh, it's continuing to go up. Retraced a little bit, continuing to go up. And come on, come on, retested pretty significantly. So I'm a little nervous, right? And then come on, come on, let's go. I probably would have took my profit right here, honestly, like 96 pips. I mean, that's 89 pips to the upside. I would have took that for sure. But just for an example on this video, uh, I want it to play out to see if if, uh, if it works for you guys, right? Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys get this, uh, if this is super helpful, um, if I'm too vague, or maybe I need to be a little bit more specific. You know, obviously I want you guys to learn. Um, I'm, I'm no perfect trader, I'm not like some guru. Uh, I'm just sharing what works for me. And, um, you know, honestly, break and retest is simple. It's very price action oriented. And, uh, you know, on top of that, using that risk calculator tool, right, um, you know, it just kind of helps uh, me keep uh, trading simple, okay? So now it looks like it's consolidating. I probably would have taken my profit right here. Um, let's speed it up just a little bit more so I'm not wasting time. Okay, finally, it hits the target, <laughs> right? So now... Now that price is actually at that four hour horizontal, let's continue to play. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit now. And I'm gonna look for a break and retest now, right? So it broke significantly. Um, it might go all the way up to the daily, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But typically when there's a big break outside of a main horizontal, um, there's gonna be a retest. So I want it to come down here. This is where I want price to come down right here for my next buy entry. So slow, come on. Come on, let's go. Let's speed it up guys. All right, so here goes another one, right? So price came back down into structure below the four hour horizontal. So now I'm gonna look for a retest right here. I want price to come back up, consolidate a little bit and then eventually drop. All right, so hopefully it plays out. This is gonna be my last example. If you guys need to watch this again, just rewind it. That way you understand break and retest. All right, guys. Um, the other thing that I actually do use is the 21 and, and, and 50 uh, EMAs. Uh, you can get those for free anywhere up here. Um, so we'll just do 20, 50, right? We'll click that. And then what I do is I get rid of um the nine and i get rid of the uh the 200 okay so you know if you guys aren't familiar with uh emas or smas typically when you know price crosses and it's in an upward bullish direction you know that's another signal for a buy right so it's just confluence based off of break and retest so right here you're going to see that price broke structure 
it retested it didn't go all the way back down to that daily horizontal but right here you're gonna see that price retested along that SMA cross point for a continuation to the upside so that's another way to actually find opportunities um, I don't want to get too granular on this video because this is more of a simple strategy uh, but the most important thing in my opinion is this risk calculator so I'm actually gonna put in a trade right here for you guys that way you can actually see in real time on my demo account how powerful this is so um, let's let's pull up another chart let's do EU okay cool um, so EU looks like it's gonna continue to go down let's say I'm going in for a sell and I'm putting my stop loss right there so it's a 20 pip stop loss and I'm taking price down right there okay so you know I'm gonna be risking $891 and I'm taking it down to here for a 61 uh, pip uh, target profit area and it's a three to one risk reward so all I need to do is hit execute okay oops so make sure when the software is running make sure this is on auto trading make sure it's green so let me do this one more time for you guys so I'll put my stop loss right here let's just do a 20 pip stop loss or 17 whatever I sell it and then I hit execute okay so now look it automatically calculates my lot size right um, I have my stop loss already uh, entered and I have my take profit entered here's my commission on that trade and now um, we're off to the races okay another thing uh, about this uh, this software okay guys if you see these little buttons right here um, there's parameters so right here I go to my specific trade so this number is the actual order ticket number uh, for EU so I can literally highlight this trade and let's say I want to close half right it's gonna close exactly half so I'm gonna hit this button for you right now and you're gonna see my lot size break down in half boom you see how it broke down in half and so now uh, let's say I want to break even so let me go ahead and well I'm not even I'm not even in profit but let's say you know I was up 10 10 pips I would hit SL to BE or stop loss to break even and then it would automatically move my my uh my stop loss to break even okay so um you know like i said before if you guys want to use this tool and you guys are tired of you know using those risk calculators this is a software that's going to automatically not only help you with target profit areas it's going to help you with lot size it's going to help you just stay focused on charts that way you don't actually have to do any math uh, in your head it's gonna do everything for you saving you time and more f and giving you more focus on <clears throat> uh, the actual charts this is Nate Barnes signing out hopefully you like this video if you're new to this channel go ahead and subscribe smash the like button if you're looking for any new content uh, click the all on subscriptions that way you can get informed on other strategies um, that I'm that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys this is Nate signing out see ya